Hello student, this is my sixth video on chapter 12 geometrical concept. In this I will discuss with interior and exterior of a circle as well as, as I will explain you the topic semicircle which is very known to you all. So what are interior and exterior of a case? It is a circle which is equidistant from a fixed point. Then the point which is in the center, which is equidistant from each point of the circle is called center and the distance between the circumference and the point is called radius. Okay. Next, if you find the reason within this circle, this reason inside the circle, within this circle is called interior of the circle and the reason outside the circle is called exterior of the circle. So if any point, suppose P or A or Z. These are lying inside the circle. So they are called interior of the circle. So these points are lying in the interior of the circle. And suppose I am writing this point M, X. These are outside the circle. So they are called exterior of a circle. They are at the, they are called, they are at the exterior of the circle. So what are the points in the interior of the circle? P, A, Z. And what are the points in the exterior of the circle? M and N. Next, if any point is here, R point is here, it is called, if R is on the circle, N is on the circle. It is also on the circle. So I will write point, interior points. Points in the interior of the circle. Point P, A, Z. Point in the exterior of the circle. Here many points are there, so I will write point. Of the circle point M X, not R M. I'm writing here, it means not that these are point. These are the names of point, and the point is on the circle. So here we will write M X and M. And point on the circle. Points on the circle are this R and this N. R N. So this way we find the points which are in the interior of the circle, exterior of the circle or on the circle. Next, this is showing half of a circle. This figure, this is a complete circle, but I am showing half of the circle. How do we find half of a circle? When we divide the circle into two parts by joining or by cutting from its diameter, we find the two parts actually and that is why we tell that it is half of the circle. If we cut from any other chord, it will not be half of the circle. So we have to keep in mind that whenever we have to find or we have to get semicircle, we will make it half. And half we can make by dividing it or cutting it through the diameter. And diameter is also the longest chord of the circle. So here we can say that this is also an arc. This is also an arc. So semicircle is an arc but which is equal to the half of circle which is equal to the half of the circumference of the circle half of the 
circum parents. Of the circum. 